Tip uh, three, be a leader. And what do leaders do? Leaders lead. That's kind of simple. I am talking here about congregational leaders who want to be a change thriving process, not about leaders who are satisfied with a maintenance, status quo, easy life process. I do want to include this. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of different ways to approach the Christmas story. But I see it as an inspiring story for leaders who want to choose to lead. Now in the course of the story, a spiritual messenger appears to Mary and says to her, Mary, don't be afraid. The divine spirit has been gracious to you. You will become pregnant with new birth. Mary replied, that <laughs> is impossible. The messenger answered, a divine spirit will move within you and will rest upon you. And Mary said what every intentional, transformational leader must eventually say. <laughs> Behold, O divine spirit, let it be unto me according to your message. And there we have it. A special spirit got Mary's attention and called her to do what in her eyes and in our eyes and in the world's eyes is absolutely impossible. It can't rationally happen. We all know that. But instead of saying no, I cannot do it. I'm out of here. <laughs> Mary said, yes. I will not be afraid to be a creator of something new and fresh, to be a transformational example to others. Now for me, for me, this story of Mary says is something important about leaders who want to lead. Leaders who choose to lead. To make something new and to experience multicultural transformation, sometimes the unthinkable, sometimes even the impossible has to be tried. 